Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. And today we're going to continue Dragon and Seal Hills and uh, continue working our way towards the uh, Hero's Journey. What is it called here? There's a very specific quest. I think it's under special, maybe. Yeah, Explorer Dragon Scale Hills, I think. No, it's not this one. It is Assisting Akanon Strike Force. This one right here. Uh, so we can continue to try and get our pole axe. Um which is gonna be our you know pretty much best weapon we can get uh for a little while, especially till 75. <laughs> so uh, we're going to keep doing that. We haven't finished any of the quests yet, but we've made progress on some of them. So let's uh, start moving around here. So this is the like our to-do list we had. We did the start of this last episode. Um, we actually did finish one. We finished Doom Bugs. Uh, we need to kill some crows and scarecrows. So if we look see where we actually are. I logged out down there. Uh, we need to go back up to the, the farm. Finish that out. There was a guy there, uh, I think last night, when we were working on this. So let's do that, and let's pop over to the Druid real quick, and tracking ton of tents. So there's names up, I'm not going to really try and focus on trying to find them. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, it's right there in front of us. Like, the rules are just so unfair, right? You know, we have to kill him. Uh, da da da, Pat. Place eight. All right. I mean, pop a arrow at him. Hopefully, we get one. I mean, it's just such an unfair rule set, right? And we're gonna do guard of the righteousness to buy us a little bit of time. Uh, Mez that one. We're gonna snare uh, Tash and well, only Tash. I guess snare didn't land. There we go slowed and now we can get some dps on here from our good friends um if i'm not mistaken this guy is gonna either drop the lance we already got or something else so let's see how this goes all right i don't even i don't even know what item that is <laughs> All right, uh, let's remez that wolf real quick. We got a Vestal Insignia, which is a charm. Cleric, Paladin, Druid, Ranger, Shaman, Beast Lord. Gains power during daylight. Uh, we're going to take that on Holdridge. Um, the usefulness of that is going to be interesting. I don't know what, what do we have as a charm. So we're still using our Kobold charm, so... Uh, definitely just gonna pop that on right now. I don't think it's daylight right now, so it feels like night. All right, that guy ran off, and I'm not paying attention. So looks like he gets a little bit of it's a little bit of something, right? It's better than nothing, right? So it was 255. Um, is it daylight? What, what is it? What is it right? What time is it? <laughs> it feels dark. It is uh, 4 a.m. So. Theoretically, it'll give us buffs. Plus, it's also recommended level 75, so it is what it is. But that is an upgrade for us. That should put us over uh, 11,000 hit points now. All right. <laughs> I'm just... My addiction with killing names, right? Oh, man. There's a, there's a, there's a necromancer on the test server named Zelen, and he has uh, videos that are all about uh killing the names and uh i would so do the same thing if he wasn't doing it <laughs> i would so make videos of me killing every name in the game but I, I don't like to do them solo because like the cool the like i play multiple characters right and if you look at the achievements here every single zone has hunter achievements right and i'm i'm just so lazy that oh, we don't want to roll that we want to give those to her, I think, is where I was going with that. Like, I'm so lazy that, uh, like, I want to get as many characters as I can flagged for each one, right? And now that, like, alternate personas is going to be a thing, 
like where I can switch uh, my class from like Paladin, say I want to switch holders to a Shadow Knight, like this adds a little bit more value to me <laughs> playing six characters because I can get a whole six characters their stuff at the same time. And uh, that'll be interesting. This guy's a name, we're just steamrolling him like nothing. This is insane. All right, we got a friend. Mezzy Mezzy, that guy. I will look at that item here in just a second. It's a cloak, most likely not going to be usable. Uh, Druid? Let's go ahead and send that to her. Uh, I don't think it's better than the Defiant Cloak that she's got, but I could be wrong. So we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Uh, let's see here. And then I I got a comment on a video uh, about the, like, these, this level range, right? So the 70 to uh, 75, maybe 85 range. Uh, you know, how how it's difficult to find things and it's difficult to get killed, right? <laughs> and, you know, I box, so I get a, I have a different experience, but I, I've done all this stuff here solo with uh, a, my Necromancer when I did the Hero's Journey, because these are all Hero's Journey quests and stuff that I'm doing right now. I mean, we're, we're literally going to get the Hero's Poleaxe at the end of this, or the Claymore, whichever one I decide on. And, like, they're all doable solo, right? But, you know, it can be time consuming. And the only reason I'm killing so fast is these two mercenaries. So, it is, what it is, what the hell is a scarecrow head? I think this is the vendor item. It doesn't say quest on it. Just kind of like run through here. But, like, I don't know. I, I think his his complaint was that you're not getting you know one percent here. Well, you know, like like I kill these so fast compared to like the runes of Elysian um, zombies we were killing a few episodes ago. I'm about the same level now. I saw a post on the forums about a guy that stayed in Elysian till freaking eighty, and I would. <laughs> I'd kill myself at that. Like, I would not do that, but it is, uh, like, I guess it's doable to stay in those zones for that long, right? But, uh, not really something I would do. I, I like to, I, I try to do a new zone every episode unless I'm doing something like this where I'm trying to, uh, you know, do a, a quest line, right? Like, that's my kind of goal is to, each video is a different, different place. And I don't stay in one place for very long. Now, if I stayed in like one zone for a long time, you know, I would definitely level up at a different rate and you know, a different speed, right? Because I would not lose that time that I'm running to different zones. Or uh, most of the time, I literally just log off <laughs> like after an episode. Oh, what do we got here? All right, hold on, I'm on. All right, all right. I want I want you guys to see the upgrade here. Look at this: 11 AC to 61 AC. Ferocity 3, and all kinds of other goodies. Uh, Holdridge is a lucky boy every episode. I don't even know what is up with that, but there we go. Like, it's insane, right? See, we've been wearing the stuff from the tutorial all the way up to level 70. And we're not having much of an issue, right? Uh, you know, we are getting carried by the healer mercenary and the, the mercenary things, but I am tanking everything now. Like I am, I'm able to maintain, you know, full, you know, everything at this point. There we go. Uh, now I, I have better, better aggro. I mean, like it's not, I don't feel like the game is very hard in some instances, right? Now, like there's some things that are just like absurdly stupid where the mobs will hit like 2000. And you're not ready for it, but you know that's you know that, I ran into that playing on the Tawani character, right? A lot of the I I was trying to push it, you know, higher far, farther than I could go. And in that series, I was like trying my best to do one episode in each different zone, so I never stayed in anything for longer than 30 minutes. And 
when you get to the higher, t- you know, higher tier expansions, you kind of realize that that's probably not a way to do things. Mostly because the uh, the mobs become insane. <laughs> like, like tier two mobs. Like, like if I, there's only like three tiers in one zones, right? And you go to tier two and then become even harder. Um, not staying in the tier one for you know longer. You know hurt that character a lot from my from my point of view uh, but I you know I was trying to do a new episode for each each uh, thing right so doing that like making an episode out of things kind of uh, makes things a little bit harder right um, it's harder hard to explain like making a making a video about the game is harder than actually just playing the game like, I have characters I don't record, and I can do some crazy stuff. <laughs> like, it's just, once you start recording, it's like, yeah, you get, it's hard to pay attention. At least for me. I, I'm, I'm sure there's people out there that can pay attention to mezzing all this junk and talking and fighting at the same time. Uh, I, I clearly have that. I have issues with that at times. I'll just lose my absolute train of thought too. <laughs> totally forget what I was even thinking about. All right, we need four more scarecrows. The big issue here is we need four, uh, fourteen of the scarecrow skin, uh, straw stuff. So that's gonna be painful. And we need the pocket watch, which I both. I think it drops off the doom bugs. I remember. But, I mean, what are we at? Almost 12,000 hit points now. We're going to hit 71 by the end of this, this show. So, for sure. But, I mean, as you see, like, we've already cleared just about everything here. Let's get this red wolf. He's an even con. And he's just standing out there like a jack o' lantern. Like we, we don't need the bugs. Now, what we could do is go turn these in, right? And get the quest again. And, I mean, that might be worth doing. Since we are farming down here, right? Preview reward. 4% experience just for doing that. Like, okay, sign me up. Let's go turn these in. <laughs> Let's do it again. Because we're going to be killing all this stuff several times over. I might as well do that. So let's run back up there real quick. Uh, especially waiting for this to respawn, right? It's not really... It's not a cohesively shareable area. Especially, like, as we as you get past 65. At 65, the things are pretty, uh, pretty challenging. But as you know, the higher you get, the less challenging all this stuff is. And I'm only trying to complete the quest. I don't really care about uh, the experience right now. All right, so this chick, let's talk to her. All right, we get 4% uh, experience for that one, 4% experience for that one. Let's go ahead and uh, get some profit here. Willing, accept, willing, accept. And I got to do it on all of them. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, it is what it is, right? But. One thing I, I do like about EverQuest too is when you're grouped with somebody else, you can see what quest item, what quest mobs they need, right? Like uh, if I need to kill bugs on so and so, I can see that they need to kill bugs, and that is so awesome. Um, I don't even think other games do that, so I thought that was really neat. So I've been playing a lot of EverQuest too, trying to get. Stasi leveled up. All right, there we go. Uh, we got all the quests again. We need to return to Bobbin Pen. This guy. Hail him. That gave us four percent experience too. Nice. And replace something. Is that the same damn quest? No. Destroy ten. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. All right. And we need to get that for everybody. Might as well do that real quick. Get 4% experience for it. Might as well. Uh, 
da. There we go. Oh, oh, wow, they're about to level up to 71. Nice. So I figure we'll get like 71 or 72, maybe 73 before we're done with this. Which is, you know, I think pretty admirable for uh, this zone. But, uh, there we got the Doom Bugs again, so killing the Doom Bugs aren't, aren't going to be an absolute waste of time. <laughs> uh, I think we can sneak over here. What is that? Oh, that's a shadow that corpse. And you can just kind of like walk right back in here. All right, does not look like anything's respawned yet, so let's just kill doom bugs so we can kind of work for my quest. But yeah, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't mind grinding. Uh, like the the biggest problem with grinding is when I'm recording, right? <laughs> Like, it's just uh, talking without uh, really thinking about it, so. Like, these are pretty, I mean, this is a pretty good experience. We're going to get 71 real here real quick. And I, I did not buy spells for 71 to 75 yet. Uh, I haven't even cleaned my bags out. Like, I, I'm out of bag space. Literally, like, my, all my uh, vendor characters that I have in uh, Bazaar are just absolutely full of stuff. Like, I can't even, I, like, I've lowered, I lower the prices so much that it's, uh, like, I'm the lowest price on everything I'm selling that I, I can see, right? It's just, it's a tedious process to, to do that and, you know, look up every item and lower the price and definitely got lowest prices on everything I can think of buy significant amounts. There's people selling this junk for like a million platinum for like raid loot from uh, TOV or something like that. I'm like, that's, that shit's never gonna sell. I just sell it for 10k and then uh, it, you know, if it sells, it sells like, you know, pretty quick and then I'll just restock it with something else from the uh, what is it called? The parcels? Like, their parcels are awful too. <laughs> so like, out of that, I got no room on Nomergard. I got no room on my Shadow Knight Zerd. I like, I'm in, I'm in a desperate uh, situation to figure out how to get rid of a bunch of junk. And I try to sell it low. Like I sell Defiant stuff for under a thousand platinum because it seems to be just like a good number. Oh wow, the uh, Enchanter leveled up to 71. <laughs> uh, wow, I did not, I'm not sure how that happened. So she is, uh, they're all desynced, I guess, now at this point. There's the druid leveled up to 71. I don't have their spells, so it doesn't really matter too much. Let me take a look here. Auto attack on. All right, uh, let's go up to the top. Attunement, subtlety, planar power, uh, mind over matter. There we go. He leveled up now. Let's look at him. His is going to be more important, right? Uh, burst of power, some more damage. Lay, new lay, lay on hands, more mental clarity, more fury. Armor of the Inquisitor. What is that? That is a new one. Increases the effectiveness of incoming, incoming heals for some time. All right, there we go. All right, that's, I guess, when we're tanking. Um... Slay Undead 7. What? <laughs> Hold on. I guess it was a 2000. What is it now? 21, 20, or, yeah, 2100. Uh, finishing blow, planar power. There we go. So we're going, you know, pretty normal stuff there. Rolling lightning, wizard. Eh. All right. Do you need any more wings? Collect eight wings. You need one more set. Uh, does anybody need a stupid handkerchief? All right, and we'll just roll that out. There we go. All right. Back to business here. Oh, we need, uh, we need the uh, scare, st Scarecrow Straw. We've only gotten one so far. Uh, I'm going to give them all the holdridge as we get them, and that's probably going to be what holds back uh, these guys. I might have to just, like, sit here and grind it. Uh later uh, so hitting 71 this now gives 0.5 experience which is uh 
like a point two downgrade. This is with the experience bonus too, so if you're watching this video in the future and it's not the 150% experience bonus, this is probably going to be like point two or some nonsense like that. So the experience here is probably not worth it if you're just doing the experience, so. But just killing 12 crows gives you 4% or whatever, what is it now? 3.3% so it's it's a little less now so it's still worth it at this point I wonder how much experience that gives at 65 now that I'm thinking about it go we're getting some good skill ups here hitting pretty good there's a twitching straw I don't think that the same thing is it no that's not it <laughs> i think th there's two different straws that can drop and that is clearly not right one there we go i don't know why these guys are so slow like, <laughs> i don't think i've ever noticed that before where they're like lagging behind following me all right Get the crow. I don't care about the doom. Eh, fudge. Alright. Alright, then last. There we go. Just do that, and then we'll send this to Lovis. Oh. And leave that jump on the corpse. Perfect. I think I've gotten a lot better with mezzing with uh, the enchanter. It's definitely a lot better than mezzing with a bard for sure. Uh, it's actually really annoying to mess with a bard because uh, I can't do multiples very effectively. Like, I think the most I can do maybe is three and that's really pushing it. Like the AoE mez that they get is okay, but like I should probably AoE mez with the uh, enchanter here but again like it's got a long recast and having to think about what the recast is and all that stuff i just don't care i can effectively just do the same thing as long as it's not killing holdridge right i think it'll be fine and typically the the healer merc takes aggro like almost instantly so Right. Nothing. <laughs> this field is clear. All right, let's go over here and clear these ones, I guess. Doombug. What are we at? Nine? All right, so we'll definitely get uh, the next nine. So I give us 3% experience just for messing around with these. I think they dropped this pocket watch. I just can't remember. Because it says spiders and doom bugs. Like, and we got the handkerchief from, uh. You know, actually, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there's a, there's a crow. I think we get the handkerchief from the crows, right? Go. I've lost a bunch of buffs. Go, go, druid buffs, please. The uh, unfortunate thing is that my druid's uh, abjuration is so low that she fails the she fails the uh, damage shield like every time, unless I manually click it. So it's kind of annoying. Right, another one. Go. What are we missing over here? Ward of Tunar. 
Yeah, I think I need to change the uh, enchanter and druid to use nukes instead of uh, dots at this point. Like, I almost feel like it's a waste of mana to dot some of these things. Like, see, this thing's already at 90, 96%. Uh, watch how fast once these NPCs go, uh, right? It's already 50. It's just gonna keep falling really quick. Dots had no no chance to do anything, so just nuking things would be more effective at this point. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't be more effective later on when the things have more hit points. But I don't think we're going to get either for a while. And we got to find uh, things with more HP. I, I can't wait till uh, Torment of LS, right? That's going to be the fun stuff because everything's undead. <laughs> and we will be doing comparable da damage on the Paladin as these mercs. And I'm going to try to do every mission and everything in... Uh, TOV for sure. Like, it's what I hate about like the Tawani series is I don't have a I don't have a tank <laughs> to tank anything, and it really sucks. Like the mercenary tank is just terrible at being able to do anything like uh, hard because either she, she like runs off over there to attack that bug uh, while I'm pulling it or something else, and it's just like so annoying. And then you have to go into like call assist mode where it takes them to like third the mobs almost dead before they even do anything. So it's like you're better when you're boxing is better to have a you know a tank, right? So that is gonna be pretty much what we be we're gonna be doing. <laughs> uh what I might do, I've been really thinking about it, is with if personas work the way I think they do. Uh, Tawani is going to pick up a different persona for di different events, and we're going probably do because the paladin, I mean, the the paladin, the shaman, and the bard in that series are like my they're going to be my main characters for that kind of thing, right? They're going to be my main shaman and my main uh, bard, <laughs> shaman and bard. So turning them into something else if you will and leveling it up again might be kind of fun so that's kind of where i'm thinking i'm going to be going with uh if the personas work the way i think i they do wow we hit that for 1100 i might turn tawani into a paladin uh and just level her up and like turn the do this exact same thing here. Do enchant and turn the bar into an enchanter and turn the uh uh shaman into like a cleric or something. But that that's if there's no class race restrictions or anything like that. You know, we I don't that's an unknown right now. I, I think they should remove all the the class race restrictions and just let it be free for all. They'll sell more tokens for sure. Uh Know, one for each class for every character that you want to do this on but it's uh right now if if they don't like you can only be like three things on a barbarian right or maybe it's four things now but it's not a whole lot of choice if you will all right like the spawn rate here is just absolutely horrendous especially like, i mean we're not these things are like 68, so I mean, it's not like we are over-leveled for these things, right? So. Like, I think we've killed everything now. Side corpses, I think, yeah, there's this one right here. One left. And this was just the last one we need for the to finish the quest anyway. I, I don't know, maybe it's not worth it to go through and, uh... Like, do this? Like, where are we at here? Uh, advancement? Progression? Like, maybe it's not worth it. I, I just know I couldn't kill the... Like, there's a better weapon than that one. 
in uh, Old Blackboro, and I just I know I couldn't kill the mobs in Old Blackboro at this point. I think I would need more more gear or something else because they were they were messing uh, messing Tawani up when I went there, but maybe I could and then just skip <laughs> skip this quest line. I don't know. We'll give it another uh, a little bit of time. Maybe I'll run over after this episode. Run over to uh, to uh, Old Blackboro. I ran into Ocean Green Hills. Everything was like red, but maybe I'll try it again. And uh, maybe it's like it was only red to level seventy. Maybe at seventy one, it's a little better. Are these overseers? Yeah. All right, let's do uh, this. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to allocate him and I'm going to plink him. I'll fall back a little bit. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh geez. Exodus. Oh my god, the mechanical guardian. Oh my gosh. What a jack-o'-lantern. I didn't even see him there. Oh man. What are we at? 31? Oh man. Let's go ahead and just end it here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rebuff and uh, cry a little bit and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Did he hit me for? Like, he's like an insta-kill, whatever it is. Yeah. Unresistible ga damage, uh, 9,800, right? I think he... Let's see, who, what character is this? Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, 92,000. <laughs> 92, like, uh, yeah. So, yeah. But, uh, there you go. <laughs> the Mechanical Guardian strikes again. Or mech mechamatic guardian uh, is the actual word there. Uh, but yeah, so that is the end of this episode. So thank you guys very much for watching and have a fantastic day.